Well, tonight, Australia's live performance awards, the Helpmans, will honour three of Australia's musical theatre legends. Nancy Hayes, Jill Perryman and Tony Lamont will be sharing this year's JC Williamson Award for Lifetime Achievement. And this morning, we're joined by none other than Tony Lamont. Tony Lamont, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. It's sensational to have you here. How do you feel about this award tonight? Well, it came out of left field. I thought all that stuff was over, you know. <laughs> and then suddenly they said, oh, and, and I don't have to go through the torture of the nominations. I've just been through the torture of nominations with my son on mm. Broadway. And yep. let me tell you, the adrenaline was going up, down, up, down, up, down. I was exhausted at the end. But you know, you know you've got this there, one. This I've one's in it. the bag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might. So this is all about your uh, lifetime of service to mm -hmm. live performance in Have Australia. Have we got enough we, time to we, do this? <laughs> I think we've got a bit of a clip now from kind of back when it all started. We might just take a look at that first. Mm -hmm. Dancing leads the way to romance. But if you hold me in your arms, I won't dance. You, you were giving him a bit of a hard time there. Uh, well, uh, yes, we knew what we were doing, but boy, what a night that was. That was the opening night of the studio in 1957 of GTV9 in Melbourne. Wow. And now they've just moved out of that, that, um, those studios and they're pulling them down all well, these years later. Well, when you see yourself performing back then, what, what did you think of uh, your abilities back then? Ah, uh, well, um, I can't do the dance routines now. <laughs> the, the old bod's falling apart a bit. Um, but um, I was I was lucky to be in the right place at the right time to be chosen, mm. you know. You so don't realise you're making history while you're making it. Yeah, so that was... You focused on, on TV initially, did you? No. The following week I opened in Pyjama Game and made further history as the first Australian leading lady since World War II um, in musical comedy for J.C. Williamson's. Yeah, so tell us about this golden era of J.C. Williamson. What, what was that? Well, the golden era before the... Before the war, World War II, it was Gladys Moncrief and Max Oldacre and Don Nickel, and they used to do all those sort of semi-operettas, really. Um, and of course, all that stopped during World War II because what they they would bring out new scripts and things from overseas. They'd bring them out by ship. Well, they were off fighting the war, so they did revivals all through um, the world war years yep. then straight after the war finished they did Oklahoma and they brought out um, American stars because we hadn't made any new theatre stars and people weren't going to pay the high prices then I think it was 10 bob or something <laughs> so so were you very conscious of that were you thinking at the time are oh, they bring all these american performers out well, there why, all, why don't we have australians well we all thought that you know mm. are, are we not destined good enough to just be supporting actors yes but they decided to have um uh a bit of a try with Australians when Dame Margot Fontaine was coming out for three months. A month in Melbourne, a month in Sydney and a month in Adelaide in those J.C. Williamson's theatres. Well, she was delayed and those theatres to be dark was like standing over a drain tearing up thousand dollar notes yep. or thousand pound notes at the time and um, so they decided just for the three months that they'd experiment with an Australian cast. What harm could it do for three months? Well, the public discovered us yeah. and we ran for two and a half years. Now, I would have thought that immediately they would start, no, it was six years before they gave Jill Funny Girl and I think another five years before Nancy mm. got Sweet Charity. So, so were you, Then we, they began to. We've got something more recent of you here. We might just have a little listen to that now. Oh, that you. You think someday he'll come to you. So, did, <laughs> did, you, that was. Did, did you still love it? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. It's, it's in the blood? 
it well, yes, my mother and father were stars at the Tivoli um, in Vaudeville, and that was the world I grew up in. So I never thought for a minute that I would become a musical comedy star. And in the one week opening with television, and then after I finished with Pajama Game, um, I was put under contract by Channel 9, and I was there for six years. And that's right. where I... Then people would pay to come in and see me in the theatre. After that, I did Oliver, Gypsy, uh, 42nd Street, and then I went overseas. And you still love doing it every now and then. Oh, I love it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations once again. Thank and you. Thanks so much for, for coming into the show, and have a wonderful night tonight. Thank you very much.